Family, you're not going to believe what I'm about to talk to you about. See the tank? <laughs> the filter is not yet connected. It's 5 o'clock on Friday. As a matter of fact, hold on. I'm going to. This, this, this direction I'm going in, I'm so excited about it. So you can see. You can see my phone. Friday. 457 April 17 oh yeah man listen to my music at the back so I, th that's the timestamp I've given you wait to me light this pipe and talk to you about what's going on with this tank I am so fucking excited It's a sheet of paper. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I have to make some notes. Okay. You ready? Do you have an emergency hospital for your tank? That's going to be the title of the series. I didn't realize I was doing a series. <clears throat> Honestly, I had intended, as you know, been following me, to just simply connect the filter, turn it on. Today was the final day of shooting, and I was going to make my regular eye movie. It was going to be one of my regular long ones, at least an hour, and change like a movie. But I thought, perfect, people at home, they can watch what I did for an hour, and a half maybe and it be a lot of information and there's something been hitting me right throughout and you've probably seen it and I've commented on it a couple of times but it hit me yesterday you know what it hit me I was burning some ganja and just looking at the tank and thinking you see what I haven't worked on the tank two days now and the first the time I stopped I couldn't go into the tank on, on, on Thursday uh, I think it was Wednesday you ever go watch back the video but it's two days now I don't touch the tank because I was so tired. I put in so many all night just to get the tank to this place. You've been watching it. And I got to the point where I have everything I need now. The, 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 the filters are already assembled. I have all the plumbing parts. It's, it's literally, this setup now is less than 30 minutes. It wouldn't take me 30 minutes to connect this filter. And 30 minutes is long because it's flex pipe I'm using. It's just push on and clamp. That's all I have to do, and just cut the pipe to length. That's it. And 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 see the, see the, see the hose here. This is what I'm using because this was a couple of things. One was available to me without me going to another plumbing store, so I got this at Pisces. Uh, I also bought one before this. The and I'm not going to show you. I will come off a camera for too long. But I bought the one that I really intend to use with this tank for the original upgrade plan for using this tank to to breed corals for spawning that original concept has now been delayed I should say because of all that is going around us I wasn't confident that I was going to be able to get the stock that I wanted and all that I needed to care for those corals over the next two to three years because honestly I think the whole marine industry is going to be changing. For those of you that can hang on to your tanks, because you have it stuck to corals and you're doing good at it, keep on doing what you can do. But the philosophy now has to change for every reefer, everywhere. I don't care where you are. If you delay thinking like this, you are only setting yourself up to fall into the category of those who depend on others to, to, to save them. I am talking to you just to take control of your tank. My previous series I talked about simplifying your tank. This is my simplification of being in this hobby. A fish and live rock only tank. I don't have the corals in here. I was going to put them back. But now I decided, hold on. And this is what Ganja said to me last night. 
bun him herb. I just chop me. I was just sitting at the, the table right here, looking on the tank, no lights on, and it hit me. I said, wow. I am seeing the tank in such a different light now than I've seen in a very long time. You know what I'm how I'm seeing the tank now? In the same light that I see everything else in the house. The tank is now being lit solely by the most of the natural light coming through the window and when I turn on my light inside the house. So there is a unique connection that started to happen between me and the fish them. One, the blue lights obscure a lot of things in the tank. For instance, if you're just running blue lights and you have algae growing on your rocks, start to grow on your rock, it can mask it because the blue light don't let the algae look green. And depending on the type of rock you have in your tank, you can start to have algae growth growing without really recognizing it unless you're keen inspecting your tank. So what I have done in simplification now, I've taken off the lights. I am also mimicking what I call an emergency control of your tank. And this is what I meant when I said, do you have an emergency hospital for your tank? I'm going to create a scenario, a scenario. and this scenario is not far-fetched. I'm going to create a scenario and then I'm going to tell you how many ways it could happen to you. And in an era now where a lot of the companies that, that were able to have supplies of stock on hand like your local fish store, well, guess what? Their, their regular orders and inventory are being delayed. And some of the things that they would have in abundance are now in short supply. So get your gear now. You must have a strong replacement for your main filtration system. If your filtration system goes down 100%, do you have something that can easily be swapped out faster than you could change a single car tire, assuming you know how to change a car tire? Is how much time I've given you? Assuming you know how to change a car tire. If your entire filtration system went down, and I mean even the plumbing, could you get your tank back up and running in the time it takes to change a car tire? Yeah, I can. Faster than that too. In fact, you know how fast I can be able to do it and you're going to see it? Literally, take out my phone and press a button. That's how I'm setting up my tank now. I'm setting up my tank now, and this is where it's at. And you're going to see the project, and this is what Ganja spoke to me about. Show people how to get their tank in order. If you have not given your tank a proper, proper clean, and unfortunately, my style of reefing is not the majority of styling. What I mean by that? You notice the substrate I have in my tank. Now, this tank again, I'm going to go a little bit into the history to me, for, to you. This tank was given to me by my mentor. Everything you see on this tank, up till the Neptune gears and still started to go on it, on it, everything was given to me by my original mentor in this industry. He gave me this tank. The light I had on it was a T5 light. If you are following me for a long time, you'd have seen me, what the tank looked like when I first got it in 20... 16 2016 i got this tank august july august i think about august august september august september 2016 i was given this tank and everything you see in it down to the very rocks let me talk to you about the rocks since because i don't want to forget and it's not on my notes you see it's a, it's a the new rock i put in there well the new rock is not really a new rock the new rock is an old live rock that was in this tank so my style of reefing i can't even really call it reefing reefing my style of keeping marine livestock that's not going to call it including the bacteria has been very dynamic in how i change it up because i like to interact with my tank my tank goes to at least an annual aquascape change but you see this this one now this one i think will hold up for a while because this one is about a system change as well not just aesthetics it's a system change so that rock was in the tank before and i did what every reefer would tell you don't you ever do 
why would you take out good cure rock, put it down for a year? In most cases, that rock was in my tank over a year ago. And then put it back. And take it out and swap it around and put it back. Yes, that's what I've done over the years. I'm not telling you all the stages of how I do it and why I do it. Why would I take up the rack at a particular time and put it back in, but I'm going to start just from here. Why I put it back in now? Because I'm going to experiment with a style of keeping livestock with them, which comes back to my pond heritage. My, my predominantly that is where my strength came from building natural water features in Jamaica and marry that with my the experience I had in, in, in ocean open waters and I bring in those two type of thinking to this in terms of simplicity this system is simply operating now right now on wave action and aeration and bio media which is housing a large colony of bacteria. My whole new system now is what I call biological water exchange. I'm going to manage this tank within safe operating parameters for the next nine months without that filter turning on one time. That filter Jason system you have there with a brand new core 15 pump with a brand new plumbing we never say water yet going to turn on in one and one instance only there is an emergency which I deem could potentially damage the livestock in that tank to a critical level that it would impact the most of the livestock in that tank, like a fish going dead, or my bacterial population going crash. That and only then do I turn that on. But I have already worked out other measures to buffer against that. I shouldn't have to ever turn on the filter. But if I do it, here's, here's a good example. If I get sick and I can no longer touch this tank, Boom, press a button. This system easily, easily can run and I'm being conservative when I tell you three months without me touching it, including the ATK. That's a five gallon bucket. And I can tell you I can make that five gallon bucket last for three months and I'm going to show you how I do it. So all of my inputs into the tank is reducing because I am getting more personal with the tank, which means the automatic feeder is going to be put back in place, but I will be handling every feeding of that tank personally. Hand feed the tank at a time like this. You do not ever want to run into a situation where you could have possibly overfed the tank because your feeder malfunctioned. You're at home anyway. So get more personal with the tank and I'm going to show you that it's going to be a simple, simple operation to run a tank like this. And I feel that I'm going to be able to prove this theory. Now, I talked about another colleague of mine who's running the original design that I had because they're going to see how I use upflow in their tank. But this is now a simple tank. This is you saying, and I see people like this all the time. They come and they want a basic tank, but they walk into the, 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 the saltwater aisle and they want the, the, the saltwater fish. I don't know you can do that, you have to have a saltwater tank. But now you can do it and you can do it so much easier because I can use your basic, regular fish tank. I can walk you through how you cure your rock and run the tank decorated even from the aquarium aisle with all of their plants and artificial things and put it in there and dress it up and put the pretty fish that you always wanted to keep 
and you blend fresh water and salt water in one place but it's going to be the e this is going to be easier than maintaining any tank system and it's going to be more powerful and safer why because the backup system on this <laughs> let's start there where did i make those notes yes you see the emergency hospital this filtration system this filtration system without maxing out without maximum can process over 20,000 gallons of water in a 24 hour period you heard me 20,000 gallons of water in a 24 hour period and that's not maxing out the capacity of the filter much less the pumping capacity of that core 15 and being conservative but if I wanted to max it out you know what it would do 20 times I can pass this volume of water over through my filter every hour that's max that's running it at max I don't even know if the fish can handle that type of flow in there but that's how I built it I can take this water and push it through this and you saw what I put in there you see the carbon you see everything and I, if I ever have to turn it on guess what it will be for a specific situation that I'm already monitoring and I can plan for it. But if I can't plan for it, like I, it's me fall sick and I'm losing. And I, as long as I can push that button and say, turn on canister filter and just slide it on Apex Fusion, I can go say, okay. As long as I get back up in three months time, I should come and see these swimming around and happy. Hey Ross, where were you? Yes, that's the type of system I'm building. Because that type of system I'm thinking about. I have one and a half buckets of salt. And I'm going to make one and a half bucket of salt last me nine months. And I'm going to be doing daily biological water exchange. I'm going to be using significantly less salt than i was when i was managing the system with the canisters running because then the, the recommendation is a 25 percent water change per week and even if you break it down to daily reefers will tell you who set up them system they're doing around a three percent daily water change this is going to be less you know why i just picked something that i figured that i could do easily it's a five gallon bucket i mix my salt water in it's a 50 gallon tank what is 10 percent of 50 five oh that's one bucket well i'm going to easily mix one bucket of salt each week and aquifer salt any salt i get right now can last at least a week so once i mix it scoop out pour in that's it that's my water biological water exchange constant dosing of the bacteria so before i get any further into that the next thing i wanted to make you know is as i said no lights you're going to be very hands-on you must already plan the emergency response i already have a, a, a detailed emergency response worked out you know so let me talk to you about my emergency response. A. Protect your biological population. Is them going to break down all the sludge and the uneaten food, the fish waste which creates the sludge, which I also control by hand feeding and timing and watching how often and how fast they eat and daily dosing of that bacteria sometimes two times a day and what you're going to see now is that i'm going to add additional biomedia to the tank because the biomedia i'm going to use again i showed you before you see me pop the filter with it but this is what is left see it here this is what is left this is now going in 
to the base of the tank i'm going to pull away some of the the crushed coral and i'm going to put this in its place because this acts as a substrate too if you can get which believe you me i don't think you can get it i don't know where would i even tell you people ask me where i get it the reason i have that crushed coral and i have enough to make a bigger tank i can go twice this size and still have enough crushed coral because i have a little bit put down but you can't get that use this if you're coming into the hobby now and you want a simple easy marine tank you're going to just get dry rock we're going to start with dry rock is the easiest you can get and this is going to be a substrate or you're going to be a bottom why because this style works with a high flow base i'm sorry but if you have sand in your tank i can't help you with this style you have to go still find another way and 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 honestly ladies and gentlemen this is why i build my tank like this and i manage it like this because i promise you one thing if and let us examine this because it can happen we see it happening around the world right now if the siren go off by your phone or the alert system and they say shut your doors do not come out we are going to deliver food to you X, Y, Z, or here's how you go. And you can no longer buy anything else for your tank. Only what you have in your house right now. How long you can hold your tank? With your existing supplies, without things dying. And I'm talking about flourishing at the exact, exact level or better. I promise you. Even if my salt run out. How I say? I have nine months worth of salt. If my salt run out, I can run this tank without water changes for another nine months. That's 18 months. Honestly, I think I can do it for two years. If I don't walk out of this house again. What about feeding, you say? Yeah. I can feed them for two years too. You know how come? All of my fish, including that fox face, have been conditioned over the years. You see how healthy them look? And I'm going to get it closer so you can see. To eat flakes, pellets, and frozen. And yes, he also gets his algae. But I take off strips and now I'm going to, instead of putting the whole sheet in there and leave it, no, 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 that fucker done. <laughs> Bridget, even I eating healthier and leaner, right? I'm going to hand feed you your seaweed, right? And you're going to come take it out of my hand and I'm going to watch you fucking eat it, yeah? And when I figure you eat up all of that and you don't dash for nothing, anything coming out is through your bumba clock, but it? Perfect. If I see a leg of somebody fly around, tomorrow you're getting that piece where I never did eat less. That is how close I'm going to watch the tank and manage the tank. So I personally make sure that there's, a, there's not a lot of excess for build up. And it's not going to build up down in the bottom of the tank anyway. Can't because I have my flow down there. I'm going to push things back up. Things get broken up and keep on going in circulation. Right? Fine enough for the bacteria that has been dosed into it to start extract that out. So I don't need mechanical filtration if I have a very strong biological filtration system. So in order to do that, what I did was I preserved what I had and then I added what I had, which is the rock. And then I'm going to put the rest of this in. This entire bottle was up to here. See it yourself? It was full to about up to here. So in my estimation, I've used two thirds to pack the main filter, leaving about one third. This entire uh, bottle is designed to treat uh, up to where it's a treat up to four is for up to 400 gallons let's just do some easy math let's just say I only have a quarter left right that means this alone going in there is sufficient for a 100 gallon tank that's fucking 50 you get me so add this to it you see the bag full already that was already in the main canister filter and i added back a rock and the the base the base is a type of material but it's also going to have a lot of uh, of of a biological growing on it 
uh, without getting stagnated and me worrying about ammonia pocket and anything getting trapped down there. That's why I like beer bottom or a high flow. I call it a high flow base. High flow base is for me in this hobby is best because I can control the tank in many ways in terms of waste reduction and removal without ever putting my hand in there or doing anything external. So all this, all this simply is going to be is being able to pour some bacteria in some water, stir it, pour it into the tank. Scoop out some water, pour some water into a container, pour it into the tank. That's it. And you're going to see that I actually have, you, you see the highest gear is on it because I understand that if my philosophy is fucked up, I need to be able to correct it fast. That's why I've invested in this type of technology, right? Okay, so that's the emergency response is number one, I'm going to get the Senai. I was showing you initially that I was using the Reef Master, um, so the salt water kit. To just do my ammonia night I use that through this stage because sometimes that's all you have and if that is all you have and you cannot afford to invest in the technology then just use that but you're going to have to be diligent and use the test kit daily you're going to have to test daily check your expiration date make sure you have enough test kits because this see if, if you are willing to watch your tank closely you're at home anyway you're going to be frightened just how simple it will be to manage and have the most beautiful fish. You might be the, the you know if you do, if you follow me, let me tell you what I expect to happen. Please follow me. Even if you're just going to get into the hobby, let me help you cycle the tank and get it to this stage. You know why? Because if this shit continues for another six to 12 months, you're going to have a lot of adoptions of pets going on people are going to say oh my god it's going to die i cannot watch my pet die and if you have a tank sitting down waiting like this ready to receive fish simple and you can say to owner in times like this i have a system where i can take care of your pet for at least a year you want to even offer it as a boarding facility it's a business that I'm telling you they come a lot of reefers going want a facility like this. That them know that them pet is going to a home that's set up for the best. You can even just charge for that if you want. I doing it for free. I'm just showing the, the principal on the take it and run with it. Yeah, because I would love to know if I can get my pet to somebody's house and they can board it for me and I know they can board it better and buy me even six months or 12 months and I know my pets are safe and I can get scientific data showing me what's going on in that tank believe you me it's a business that for somebody but I, I tell you don't make it a business I give this advice for free so those who can follow me prepare yourself people give you fish for free I promise you don't worry because the marine the shops them running out and no not many more flights coming in with, with these type of livestock so you want fish just set up the tank and follow me just like this and when i say just like this i mean you see the gear i'm using you either use exactly what i use the equivalent of it or better do not go down from this level let me give you an example the control of my choice is exoterra 600 watt i use it in conjunction with the apex you can use the ink bird that's what I call at the same level or better because it's controlling your heater and has the ability to give you alerts yeah I won't get into the detail as to why I prefer the Exoterra but the Exoterra in two sentences really is if you look on the unit <laughs> and you see how it actually regulates the power to your heater you'll understand that it is not just controlling it is a regulator a power regulator that gives me a heads up digital display all the time of my temperature in the tank and i trust it so that's what i mean get a good one that i call at that level or better i'm using 
Neptune's wave pump. I'm a Neptune guy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, man. I have my little Neptune mag. <laughs> it just dropped from it. <laughs> I have my Neptune magnet them. I don't remember the direction it must turn. But yeah, man, I have my magnet them on my fridge. And I have two of them. So, but I'm a wave guy. So, I believe that one wave pump could run a 50 gallon tank. And the reason I wanted it, I, and I struggle with this, and I fixed the problem, because Neptune never come with the solution for me, so I had to fix it myself. Now, your wave pump, your power head, power head must be on a battery backup. I am sorry if you're going to run the system the way that I'm doing it, you have to follow me the right way. Yeah, how you mean? But that's a wave pump. Yes, but this entire Apex system is already on a UPS. And this UPS right now can run this tank easily. If I have all the other stuff running, like in my grow cabinet, and I keep the grow cabinet running, it can run everything in, everything on what I call emergency mode. And that's not with, that's, that's without, I'm not even turning on the hospital. I'm just saying keep whatever's going in here running. Yeah, for an easy one hour, and I'm being generous. One hour, and you know why I set it like that now. And I'm going to probably adjust the programming and how long and decrease the power efficiency of, of the draw from the different uh, DC pumps because it's all run by DC pumps. Every, every, everything in my system, including my grow cabinet, every pump that pushes or moves water is DC driven that I can control with Apex. I can reduce ramp up, ramp down. I can change art and I can watch the performance of the pumps. So, but I'll eventually probably release some of that data. But let's go back to this tank. So, you could use the MP40. You know, there are, there are some reefers out there, are some tanks that have actually helped people build and I'm helping them. That in that case, I like MP40. Now, I really did struggle with that for a while, but then when I looked at the comparison of how the wave pump works, I like the idea of. I mean, it's nicely, it's just plugged right into the apex, you know, um, the energy bar 832, sorry. And what I had to do, because you see where I move my energy bar 832 to, it's all the way over here, so. You see it over here, so? Way away from my tank, yeah? And so all I did was just got the, the male-female extension, uh, one-nick extension, and plug that in, so it's, it's 20 feet a kick.